Good morning, guys. How are you? Um, there is a definitely a difference in the uh, weather today than there was yesterday. Um, that cold front has moved through here in Mid Missouri, and it is it is noticeable. But that got me thinking about how our lives, um, what we're learning, um, our spiritual lives. Um, what Jesus is trying to teach us, how it kind of works that way. It's like we'll go through um, a, a season where we're learning and learning and learning, and it seems like the sun, S-O-N, is shining brightly in our lives, and then something moves through, uh, and, and like a storm, and it gets darker, and, and those kind of things, um, and it just seems like it rolls uh, with that, and I think there's a lesson in this, um, how that works, and so I was thinking about that this morning. Um, uh, the Lord brought me to Second Corinthians um, chapter 4. And so I just want to read a little bit to you and again continue to just um, um, dive into uh, the Word of God as we seek His face. But it says um, in verse, we'll start 4 verse 6, I believe. Yes, it says, For God who said, so it is God who said this, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give light of the knowledge of God's glory in the face of Jesus Christ. So, as I was thinking about this, it's like light needs to shine out of the, in those times. And where does that come from? It says that God has, has shown a light in our hearts. Remember, culturally, that's the center of who we are. Um, that is, you know, when we talk about like the renewing of the mind, it, it, it culturally the heart is that, you know, and so these, as these things come in and these waves of storms come in, we are that light. Uh, we, we are to be the reflection of the light that God has shown in our heart. Um, and so what is that? It's the knowledge of God's glory because of who God is in the face of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is this catalyst of this light, uh, that is, that is showing, um, that is shown into our hearts. Then it goes on to say, now that we have this treasure in clay jars, so that this extraordinary power may be from God and not from us. So this power that we have that is deep within us, that is the light of God's glory uh, through the face of Jesus or who Jesus is, um, then we have this extraordinary power within us. And, and what that does is causes us to, to stand in circumstances, to stand in as, as, um, as relationships change or as, as they deepen um, uh, circumstances of, the, of where we live and in, in, in the face of these things, that we have this extraordinary power within us. And what does this do? And it says that we are pressured in every way. You ever felt that? But not crushed. In other words, we feel that pressure, but we're not crushed by it because we have this extraordinary power of God's glory in the face of Jesus deep within us. Then it says we are perplexed. Hmm, have you ever been there? But we are not in despair. That that those why is this happening? All these things as we think about um, trying to figure things out, it doesn't lead us to despair. So as we're trying to sit here, listen to me, this is important. If we're trying to think about it and, and perplexed and we're perplexed about the situation that we're living in and we're trying to figure out why, and it, but it's leading us to despair, I'm telling you, that is not from God. And and that is not that power within us, the God's glory and the faith of Jesus. That is not a, That is the enemy speaking that to us, speaking lies to us. And we need to take those thoughts and we need to say no and we need to turn them over to the truth of our identity and the truth of, of what God is doing and, and his uh, prophetic promises to us. Um, those are the things that we have to do. It says in verse 9, we are persecuted, but we're not abandoned. Notice that it says there is persecution, but we never feel abandoned or alone because we have this great power within us, which is God's glory and face of Jesus. So we have all these things to, to bring us through this. It says we are struck down, <clears throat> excuse me, but we are not destroyed. <coughs> excuse me. Um, and that is so, sometimes we allow us to feel destroyed, don't we? Like something happens or we have a memory or something and it brings us back and we feel like we are just destroyed. I'm telling you, again, we can be struck down. It could, whatever, but we're not destroyed. Matter of fact, I think sometimes those moments bring us inner strength, especially as we work them out, um, as we, we talk them out with, with friends and in relationships especially. 
Um, it says that we intend we always carry the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we live, uh, I'm sorry, for we who live are always given over to death because of Jesus, so that Jesus' life may also be revealed in our mortal flesh. This is like, so this is talking about um, being a living sacrifice. It is talking about um, dying to self, that we do this. Why? We do this because um, we want Jesus to re be revealed in us. And, and, and how we learn and then how that light shines in that darkness. Um, and, and we do that. And you can continue to read this passage in, in uh, 2 Corinthians. But I just want to get down to 16. And it says, Therefore we do not give up, even though our outer person is being destroyed. Our inner person is being renewed day by day. For a momentary light affliction is producing in us an absolute Incom incomparable eternal weight of glory so we do not focus on what is seen but what is unseen for what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal so as all these pressures and um, um, and um, being struck down and being perplexed and, and, and persecution and all these things you need to understand that God can use those things and it is for us because we have this great power within us then we look at it and we are being renewed the inner person day by day it is about what God is doing inside of you how he's working in you and that reflects out and that causes the 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 glory of God in light of Jesus to be shown in the hearts of many and, and, and so therefore, I'm going to just say, hey, whatever you're going through, um, it may not even be our current situation. It may be things um, outside of that. And I'm here to tell you, don't give up. God is working it out for your good. So focus on what he's doing, the unseen things, because what you see is just temporary. But I'm telling you what, God is revealing things that are eternal through those unseen things. So don't give up. Keep it up. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Start understanding. Refute every lie that you feel. If he's telling you things um, like uh, negative things, like you're unworthy and, and this and that, you throw that back in him and you tell him no. And you let a, God's light shine in your heart so that we reflect that light to those around us. Father God, we love you. We thank you. We give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, I love you to pieces, and I will talk to you tomorrow morning.